Now to that football star's secret health scare. J.J. Watt is one of the Houston Texans' top defensive players, but now he's revealing how close he came to losing his leg and his career. ABC's Ryan Smith has more on this. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Robin. J.J. Watt is arguably the NFL's top defensive force, playing through pain time and again. But when a staph infection hit, if not for catching it in time, his legendary career in the making could have come to an end. He's the three-time defensive player of the year, a force on the field, and off it, a perfect pitch man, a buddy movie star to boot. Damn. But while opposing offensive lines can't stop him, this morning, the Houston Texans' J.J. Watt revealing what almost did for good, a staph infection nearly costing him his career. The six foot five, 289 pound, 27 year old telling the Players Tribune he noticed bumps on his knee in October of 2015, telling a trainer who rushed him to the hospital, undergoing hours of antibiotics. Watts says team doctors told me that if our trainer hadn't recognized the problem so quickly, I could have lost my leg. Staph infections are spread among teams very easily. They're spread through contact. They're also spread in the locker room, through surfaces people can, can sit on, through razors, through sharing towels. And in football, there's growing concern. A staph outbreak in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers locker room sacked three players in 2013. This infection has just eaten me up inside. I mean, it can kill you. Touchdown! And in 2015, New York Giants tight end Daniel Fells almost had his foot amputated. But the four, but Watt isn't letting uh, the infection get him down. The four-time All-Pro saying of the game he loves, quote, the kid in me is back. Am I done? Hell no. I'm just getting started. Can I say that on TV? You, you just did. Okay. <laughs> You're just quoting. Yeah. And offenses are scared that he's coming back. Nobody wants exactly. to see that guy.